tech lovers, geeks, nerds, anti-social people, men that got no hoes, ladies that got no apes. Wuna oh, good morning. Easy kwenu. Easy kwenu. Easy kwenu. Oro 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 oro. Abi had to take the talk upset. I don't know. Anyways, let's get straight to it. See, if you're in the market for a new phone, you have probably maybe heard of terms like budgets, mid-range, and even flagship being thrown around, even if not in the market. You've been in the tech space online, either on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. You've definitely heard this three times. Well, in this video, I'll be telling you what it means or what they mean and which one you should think of purchasing if you're in the market next time or if you're thinking of getting a new phone next time let's start with the budgets or entry level phones these are the most affordable options out there typically priced under 300 200 and even under 100k depending on the phone's brand itel i see you but say you don't want itel and you want something a bit more different you can get the nokia n something i don't know i've forgotten the name of the i've forgotten the names that come after the n there is a long name or the lg the lg phone this is also very good but yeah it's under 30k whereas the nokia n something is under i think 100k 70 80k you would get the nokia and something so yeah they are actually very perfect for casual users that don't want all the fancy things because it doesn't come with the latest processors or camera but it typically gets the job done so if you're someone that you know is not into that fancy stuff but wants a reliable device then these are the types of devices for you the budget device you guys should keep that in mind they are budget device they're not expecting to be playing CUDM I take up back you see you dm players i see you Puh. next up we have the mid range phones now this is where the value for money game really shines these phones are typically priced between 400 600 700 or even 800 000 depending on the brand phones like the redmi note 13 pro plus 5g or the poco f3 5g now one thing to know about the mid-range phones is, la is that they offer a solid balance of performance features and even price think of decent cameras faster processors or even premium features like higher screen refresh rates or 5g connectivity now yes they are definitely perfect if you want more gaming power photography or even multitasking but you do not want to spend flagship level money or you are broke like me that just does not have the money for flagship level money samsung s24 ultra and co we see you how will you be buying phone for one point something million are you a mad person ha now poverty they speak through me now oh, oh god father forgive me now before we proceed to the flagship level type phones if you're enjoying this video do not forget to like share subscribe and if you're seeing this on facebook follow and do not forget to leave a review peace and finally we've got the flagship phones the cream of the crop if i may these are the top tier devices with the latest tech innovations that are normally priced above 800 900 1 million demon entity type figures is what i'm talking about the only time i'll be able to get these phones this type of flagship level phones is when i sell three of my phones then i might stand a chance of getting the flagship level phones yes we are talking about powerful processors stunning displays amazing camera sets up and even premium materials if you want the absolute best performance then flagship is actually the way to go you have to be ready to spend who has seen the xiaomi 13 ultra that is premium samsung thinks they are going to be on the, at the top forever nah bye guy xiaomi is coming for you and they are coming hard diddy type shit diddy type shit so yes the flagship level phones are built for those who want cutting edge tech and are willing to pay for it so you should keep that in mind my guy before i forget 
hmm? for those iPhone users that use iPhones that are under 700, 600, 500. I take God beg you. You know they use flagship level phone. You're using a mid-range device, a poor one, a, a poor one for that matter. Because even even at the same price you buy them with this my Redmi Note 18 Pro Plus, it will not be able to handle the things that this will handle. So yes, clip those wings. Clip it. So there you have it. Whether you're a budget buyer or a mid-range value seeker or a flagship enthusiast, there is always a phone out there for you. Let me know which type of phone you're using. Not be to choke your dog, I beg. I beg. So do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're seeing this on Facebook, do not forget to follow my page, like, and review drop me a review give me that five star shit bath so i bring in more good substance more good shit you know that good stuff so yes guys stay safe peace